Saturday, June 12, 2021. Welcome to Zena TV Show. Today is extra special because we are celebrating the Philippines Independence Day with theme, your cultural identity and mine. Our cultural, cultural identity for national unity and positive attitude towards work. I am now in the Philippines Embassy to the United Arab Emirates to cover the celebration and to conduct a face-to-face -face interview with program officials like the Bayanihan, Council, Bayanihan Council and Knights of Brazil members. And today, we managed to set an appointment with chairman of the program of committee, no other than, than the energetic community leader and my handsome father, <laughs> Dr. Edgar and Barada. Good morning, sir, and thank you, thank you for, for allowing us to get your ideas about this celebration. Before I start, my first question, please allow me to congratulate you for the success, successful event. Here is my first question. Can you please tell us about the theme, your cultural identity in mind, our, our cultural, cultural identity for national unity and positive attitudes towards work? Well, uh, before I begin, I would like to greet all of you. Happy Philippine Independence Day. This year theme is an exceptionally good example for all Filipino citizens and other nationalities living in the UAE because we are working and living in a diversified cultural environment. You can just imagine that there are more than 200 nationalities in this country. If there is no unity and understanding among the people, then no peace, order, and prosperity in this country. We must respect each other and follow the rules and regulations, culture, and traditions of our host country. Yes, I agree with you, sir. There was evidence that other national, nationalities respect each other, especially during UA National Day. We come together to celebrate the occasion by raising the UA flag, by putting them in our cars, in our cars. With this pro program, my second question is, how do you collectively express our Philippine cultural identity? Well, uh, like the UAE local people, they collectively express their cultural identity by wearing national dress, serving their local foods, and greeting each other through touching nose-to-nose -nose for men. And cheek-to-cheek, or handshaking for women. We Filipinos also do the same, wearing our national dress like Barong Tagalog for men and Filipiniana dress for women. During the program, we will feature our native dances from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And also, we will serve some native food such as bibingka, puto, and others. Exactly, sir. I was amazed during the parade this morning that all participants are wearing the national dress like me and purely showcasing our own unique Filipino identity. I also noticed that the parade was well organized and yeah. on time schedule. Since you are the, the chairman of this event, yeah. my question is, how do you obey the rules and regulations of the community? 
Yes, uh, to obey the regulations of the community is our major concern. To avoid violations and non unnecessary fines. The secret for this is to know the culture, especially in this conservative environment. We need to respect this culture for us to maintain unity, understanding, and solidarity. That was indeed a good message to all, sir. I, I am sure that by show, showing respect to others will create better image for the Filipino community here in the UAE. Sir, my follow-up question yeah. to that answer, what do you think are the measures to help to help national unity and understanding? In my own opinion, there are some measures to help national unity and understanding by, of course, first, we all need to respect and accept other people's culture and traditions. Second, educate the young people or young generation, especially the students, about moral education. Third, all people must follow the rules and regulations of the nation you are living and working in too. That is a clear advice for all, sir. So to respect, to educate the, the young generation about moral and following the rules of the nation should create unity among us. My last question, sir. How do you develop positive attitude towards work? Wow, that's a very good question. In order to develop positive attitude towards work, we must practice unity and understanding among the people you work with. There is a saying, you must surround yourself with positive people because Positive people are grateful and support good results. These are the people that support good causes, obey the laws, cares for the environment, and kind to others. By doing this, we can become good citizens and contribute more good results to the society and the country we live. What an, amaz what an amazing thought and wisdom, sir. I agree with you. We need to join those good people to have positive attitude in our work to contribute more to the community and the country. Thank you so much, sir. And again, congratulations for the successful celebration of the 123rd Philippine Independence Day. This is your host, Zena Gabriel T. Barazzo from the Philippine Embassy Live. And thank you for watching. Mahbuhay! Thank you.